What are you doing? Happy birthday! There are some incredible moments when you rewatch Killing Eve for the fifth time. It's not my birthday. Dance with me. Turn the music. Dance with me. What are you doing? Well, you find yourself thinking, how much fun was it to do those surreal moments, like a slap fight on the bus? No, I'm not here for you. Or um. Shouting, this is so boring. This is so boring. Yeah, well, the boring moment wasn't scripted. Me and Kim were doing that scene and we'd done it like a god few times. And we were in a really quiet art gallery. And I was just like, I was so tempted to do it. So I just did it. And then, so his reaction was real, which I love. And Kim loves that. He always likes to be surprised. Mm -hmm. So at any moment, I'm like, oh, this is a great opportunity too. Uh, so it was great that that actually ended up in. But yeah, no, I loved, one of my favorites was when Villanelle went to prison in season one. And I remember I had this scene where I I just killed my prison mate. <laughs> and I had to scream, take me to the hole. Take me to the hole! And I remember going, this is just so ridiculous, so outrageous. Part of me felt embarrassed. And then I just shoved that Jodie to the side and I just like, with, you know, with all the kind of glory in the world, screamed it at the top of my lungs. <laughs> and Inga, I remember there was the ink where we had that fight and I bit her neck. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of those moments. And even in season four, there's, we're doing season four at the minute and there's one, particular um <laughs> episode where we really kind of push the boundaries a little bit in in a whole new way um so we can maybe we can have a chat after that yep Let's <laughs> we do can that. discuss it i also love it when you react to the whole the earth is flat bit and you do this big laugh they never even went to space you know why because they don't want us to know that the earth is flat Oh, yeah. And I always love it when actors can deliver a real big laugh. And you do it in an accent. <laughs> what are the things that you admire in other actors where you go, oh, that's exceptional? Like waking up and you believe it, that sort of thing. Yeah, I think, well, going back to Free Guy, new film coming out August 13th. Um, <laughs> yes. Um, working with Ryan mm. and seeing how he works and the speed in which his his brain works. I'm not going to be the good guy. I'm going to be the great guy. <gasps> okay. Well, enjoy your lifetime supply of virginity. <laughs> Off you go. But I said this to him. I was like, how do you do it? And he's like, I prepare. Like, I do the work. And I'm like, of course you do. Um, but like, he will be on set. And if there's like a certain kind of line. How do I look? That's a joke that he's maybe done a couple of times. And he's like, right, I want to try something new. You guys looking for the golden child? He will have like five ready to go. 1980s, Eddie Murphy movie, nobody saw it, no? And each one is as funny as the last. I know, right? Sweet suit. It's made from over 9,000 individually wrapped Jewish toffees. Everyone behind camera is like... I, I really don't know what I'm saying right now. <laughs> <laughs> laughing. No, like laughing out loud. I'm like, okay, well that's... We're gonna have to ADR all of this because everyone's just laughing out loud. But it's, it's so incredible to see and to like, you know, to learn from, hopefully. You've spoken before about how you've managed to parlay your success into getting your parents to meet, say, Michael Palin. Mm. I was wondering who else is on the checklist for maybe, you know, could we possibly be friends? Paul Rudd, Spice Girls? Paul Rudd. I love Paul Rudd. Maybe just get your agent to say, hey, Paul, just a chat. Hey, Paul. Paul. How's about it? Dear coffee, <laughs> me, I just want to chat. I think you're great. <laughs> Frances McDormand. <gasps> yeah, I'm... I love her so much. I think she would be someone who I would love to, love to at least just be in the, you know, be in a large room with. Mm. Just I say I was one. in the, I mean, a, a small one would be even better, but I'd take a large one. I want a massive room with Bruce Springsteen way over there. Bruce, Bruce. Yeah. It's gotta be Bruce. If I could, if I could introduce my dad to Bruce Springsteen, I think, I think he would explode. But he, Bruce, Bruce, First name, first name terms. Um, he must be so used to people just meeting him and just being like, yeah, he's got to be used to that. Yeah, for sure. And I'm sure you get it too. You must have people who recognize you and go, 
<laughs> yes, sometimes. And it's even interesting, like, I can have a cap and a mask on and it must be my eyes. I must have, I must have the crazy eyes because I see people go and I'm like, really? With a, with a cap and mask on? It's the Villanelle thing. You've dressed up in a boiler suit and a flat cap. Yeah, I know. I can't, either way, I can't. I read somewhere that you started with your accent skills by imitating adverts. Mm. What adverts have never left your head because of this? Oh God. Okay. So there's the classic. Do you, do you remember the KFC adverts um, where they would sing them? <laughs> when he's like, hey son, what is that on your head? <laughs> Did you remember them? Hey son, what is that on your head? So those really stick in my head. Also, there's the McCain's Daddy or Chips. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sophie, who do you like best, Daddy or Chips? Daddy or Chips? Daddy or Chips, Ali? Uh, wah, wah. The other one for me is Quickity Quick Microchips. Quickity Quick Microchips. McCain Microchips. Real chips. Quickity Quick. Or yeah. everything, five pounds. <laughs> That's a good one. That'll be the rest of my day. Guy, this world, it's a video game. The trailer first came out for this movie in December 2019, I think. And it's full of bad guys. It's August mm. 2021 now. Apologies again for all of these interviews over and over and over. But whilst you've done plenty of action in your time, the action in this one is another level. We're talking wire work. We're talking back <laughs> yes. flipping onto flip a- Flip-flops, flick flax. All the lingo. <laughs> As you backflip onto a backwards facing motorbike, Mm. and then start shooting people with two pistols. Yeah. Oh. Is that a Glock in your pocket? No. What? It's two Glocks. Oh. Was that all you? A bit you? How was that for you? It was definitely the most challenging part of doing the role. You know, when I first went to Boston, I'd spend like three hours a day with the stunt team. First, just getting my basics together, you know, like my coordination, <laughs> footwork. <laughs> walking. We were walking, yeah, walking. one foot in front of the other. We were starting from scratch. <laughs> but no, I really wanted to do as much as I possibly could, and they were like so up for that. I think they get actors who go and they're like, well, I have a stunt double, so why would I do anything? So I think they were, they appreciated my enthusiasm. They'd also seen you put an axe in a man's back, and they went, yeah, she could probably she get could, this. Yeah, she'll be fine. <laughs> the shoulder, the shoulder. <laughs> He, oh. shoulder, I don't know, do I? But I did have an incredible stunt double called Hayley Wright. So for instance, with that stunt, mm -hmm. with the motorbike moment, I kind of like jumped in the air on a harness. She did the flip, I did the landing. What's happening when you're flying out of a breaking window whilst firing the guns? Oh, great. So this was like a stationary motorbike surrounded by green screen gigantic wind machine behind me, blowing my hair this way. Of course. And then I just had to really kind of make sure that my body language and physicality looked as if it was flying through the air. I don't suppose this thing can fly. <laughs> no. Jump. Whoa! I was just saying, pew, pew, pew. Yeah, exactly. They had to cut that out in post though. They were like, oh, it doesn't really work. It does happen though. Like Laura Dern did it on Star Wars. Really? Yep. And it's like, pew, pew. pew. <laughs> I love that. Oh my God, I now want killing you with you going bang, bang, bang. <laughs> I might have to start doing that. <laughs> just for the end, just to, why not? For the final kill. Exactly. <laughs> You're dead, bang. Anyway. <laughs> Also in this movie, you get to see these dance emotes, you know, like in Fortnite, where different avatars do these taunts, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you had a button on your wrist that let you just do a dance, what would your go-to move be? I, I mean, I'm sure this is probably copyrighted, but I'd probably have to steal the David Brent <gasps> office stance. <laughs> Could I take that? Is that allowed? I think, well, I mean, look, Fortnite's got the Fresh Prince one in there. So I just... mean, anything, yeah. I mean, anything can happen in a video game. Yep. Oh my God. That's what I would take. You need to go bang, 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 and then. <laughs> <laughs> what mementos have you taken home over the course of all of your years? Because I imagine there's an element of, this was my first ever job at Radio 4, 
maybe I could take a pen? Like, what have you taken home? Okay, well, I definitely do take costumes from Killing Eve where I'm allowed, although they don't, they, they kind of cling on to them now for whatever reason. Thank you for making such an effort, Villanian. <laughs> also, when are you going to wear that big pink dress? Well, I know, no, I take the shoes because you mm. never really see the shoes and she wears really good shoes. So I, I like to take the shoes. What is a hidden gem in your back catalogue that you'd love people to go and find out? Just go and hunt down. Ooh, as in where, as in... In your work, like, you know, a TV show or an appearance or... Ooh, I would probably say my, my Mad Fat Diary. Is that yes or no? Yeah. Why not? Cool. Uh, I'll, I'll meet you this one at eight. Because I think, one, it's also the 90s. It's like Oasis, Blair, soundtrack, like... It says the best music, great costumes, has a really important message, but is, again, incredibly fun. Moe, seen here looking at Finn like a black widow, sizing up how much Gaviscon she's gonna need after eating him whole. And I feel like every generation will be able to watch that and, and it will, I think it will stand the test of time. Guys, you have a mission. Yes. Do it. I'm at Fat Diary. I'm pregnant. What <laughs> quotes or lines do you get fans in the street saying at you? There's one that I think jumps out. Well, I, uh, I don't get a lot of quotes said to me, but I get a lot of people asking me to do the accent. Or they're like, can you say I will kill you? Shut up! I will blow your tiny head to pieces! My dad is going to kill you in the face! No, I'm going to kill your dad in the face. Or like... Like, can you strangle me? Like, if I'm like getting a picture with someone, it's like, can you like pretend to strangle me? I'm like, oh, I don't know about that one. Feels like a no to me. <laughs> How about I pat you on the back? <laughs> I know, it's so hot. I'm like, oh, it's so I know you spent like five minutes going, I'm so sorry, I don't know if I can do that. Um, but yeah, they're probably the two, but it's mainly to do the accent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which again, makes me go, ooh. I have to prepare. I'm not ready. Jody, thank you. Thank you. It was pleasure. so much fun. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to keep up to date. You can listen to my Radio 1 movies and TV podcast screen time on BBC Sounds. And you can find these interviews in full on BBC iPlayer by searching Movies with Ali Plum. <laughs>